and welcome back to Vikings Connected. My name is Chris Aki and this is Aaron Newberg. So much new stuff on Vikings Connected this year. We've got another news segment. Yes, you guys are gonna love this one. It's a six part series called The Weatherly Report. Mm. So Stephen Weatherly, like all smart athletes, is already wondering what is he gonna do after his NFL career, right? I'm sure he's gonna have a long successful career, but when he's done with the NFL, what's next. So he set out on a mission this summer to try his hand at a few different trades and see what the possibilities were. What's first? The first episode is glass blowing. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Weather Report. I'm Stephen Weatherly, and on this six-part series, we take a look at what life would be like after football. In our first episode, we take a look at glass blowing. I met up with my friend Jeff to see what all goes into it. Hey everyone, I'm Stephen Weatherly here, and today we're at MPLS Glass with Jeff. Hey folks, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> From the onset, I quickly realized my co-host was not ready for prime time. Hey everyone, Stephen Weatherly here and we're at MPLS Glass with my good friend Jeff. What are we doing today? Today we're gonna walk you through a simple paperweight. Uh, adding some color to it. You're gonna sculpt it and shape it. Okay. And you're gonna, you're gonna put you through the whole thing. Beginning to end, it's all you. All right. We're jumping right in. Let's go ahead and get started. When you go into the, into the furnace here, or into the, to gather, um, it's going to be the consistency of honey. How hot is this? Uh, right now it's at 2,020 <laughs> degrees, so uh, stay close. Don't, don't, yep. watch, don't watch this, coach. <laughs> don't watch this, coach. Now, nice and easy now. Nothing's fast, nothing's cr I'll close the door for you and come out and marver it down by dropping your end down and gently rolling it on that marver. And what you're doing is pushing the glass, the usable material, off the blowpipe so we can use it. So Stephen, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna let this mass kind of cool down uh, to support the next layer of glass. If it's too hot, it won't have a, uh, a nice structure to hold itself. How many times have you gone in? What's your biggest piece? How many gathers have you gotten? Well, it would have to be about six, but there was three other people helping me. It's not a one-man sport. This is definitely something that you wanna do with other people. Uh, the thing with glass blowing is, is once you start, you have to finish. There's no stopping. You know, you can't put it down and take a break. As Jeff described the traits of glass making, I began to see the parallels between the craft and the sport I love. Teamwork, patience, commitment, sheer will. Wait, I think I'm also describing John Wick. So Steven, now what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're gonna go heat uh, the glass back up just a little bit. Okay. So what Steven's doing is he's, he's reheating He's reintroducing heat uh, into his piece through the furnace here, which is uh, you know, well above 2,000 degrees. As the glass cools, uh, you have a hard time using it. It doesn't want to respond to you anymore. So what he's doing is you know, adding more energy to it, if you will. All right, Stephen. So what we're going to do is when you get some nice heat in there, you're going to walk back over and gently pick up these pieces that I've preheated. No stop, hesitate. Grab the next one. Some hesitation. Nice. Some hesitation. Yep. You're going to sit down at the bench and he's going to slap the silver leaf directly onto your piece. Wait, what? I thought yep. it was at 2,000 degrees. Yeah, well, you, we won't make you do it. That's okay. Why, that's why I have Derek <laughs> here. So you can go ahead and sit down. Thank God. One thing I love about glass blowing, you can be as creative as possible. Really show your own unique flair. I was given a choice between using a wood block, a marble, or a newspaper to mold my piece. Jeff thought I may not be talented enough for the newspaper. And if you really want to step it up, use the paper. Uh-oh. I'm just saying. Challenge accepted. But as you know already, Jeff doesn't know squat. I was ready for the newspaper. I want your ring finger and your pinky to be pushing against your palm of your hand as a... This is like, just regular newspaper, right? This so what, like, you're used, oh, what you're using oh. in your hand is <laughs> Edit that wet, out. wet newspaper. <laughs> so start at the bottom. Start at that, yep. Okay. Maybe I wasn't ready for the newspaper. So what the newspaper is doing, it's just riding on a bed of ash and steam. It's not even really uh, grinding into the glass saw, but you can see the shape difference that we're making there. 
the large tweezer looking things are called your jacks. Okay. I'm these. gonna cool this pipe down, yep. And the jacks um, are gonna create a line. Let's just bring these over here to me for a second. I'm gonna turn them around in your hand, yep. And you're gonna create a line right where you want that piece to come off. So that's a starting point for us because it won't come off unless we create a spot to tell it to come off. So what are you thinking? I think this is that's great. Good. Yep, great. You can go ahead and stop that and ha <laughs> ha! Boof. Sorry. And you can use the newspaper if you want to kind of <laughs> totally correct all of the, uh, or leave it as is. Your correct. choice. <laughs> <laughs> correct. <laughs> Flamethrower? Very nice. Uh, you can if you want, but make sure you keep Flame it thrower. turning. Flamethrower time. We have arrived at my favorite part, the fire. When using a blowtorch, it's important to play epic trailer music. So uh, this is the final stage. Uh, this is the Got point it. where we can take it off. If you want to change your shape, we can work with that a little bit. What do you think? I like it the way it is right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It all comes down to this crucial moment. Using water, I'll attempt to separate the piece from its final form. All right. Moment of truth. Now or never. Okay. Oh. Let's try it again. Nope. Stop. Help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And break it off. So this piece of equipment here, Stephen, yep. is sitting at 920 degrees, and that's slowly going to bring your piece down over, over okay. the next 24 hours. If the piece cools down too fast, it's going to create uh, coefficiency stress, mm -hmm. causing it to crack. Okay. So nice and easy, nice and gentle. Well done. From here, I let Jeff do the dirty work polishing the entire piece and getting it ready for display. Being safe, it's more important than being tough. I like what you're oh. What you're using oh. here. <laughs> Newspapers can still serve a purpose in today's society. The more heat you can handle, the more results you can get. As you can see, a lot of hard work, effort, dedication went into this. I think I may have a career. Tune in next week as I see if I can make it in Sweet Martha's Kitchen. Good night. God bless.